is the seven of wands. So this is a day where, you know, having valor or courage when facing a difficulty may be important. You may be throwing the gauntlet, uh, drawing the boundary lines, blocking others, trying to keep the advantage. Uh, whatever it is, you may find that you're trying to maintain your ground in a struggle. And But it's also, you know, a card that says you're trying to make some things happen despite any obstacles, pushback, or feeling as if you're under attack or under siege. So this is a day where you may feel compelled to stand up for yourself, act in your own conviction, because you're facing something, perhaps even an unknown adversary. You don't even know where this attack is coming from, uh, but you're expecting it. So there are challenges to be overcome today, and it may require that you take a calculated risk, uh, that you are willing to be bold, to be fearless, to be daring by pushing through something, and maybe even being extremely assertive in the face of aggression, or maybe you are defiant. So something today may be coming to a head, and you know you have a sense of purpose about what you want to do. But it's important that you're adaptable, because the more flexible you can be due to changing circumstances, the, the stronger your chance of you know, gaining that advantage. Uh, or if not, you'll have to contend with some upsetting circumstances. So this is a day that enables you to make some beneficial changes in your relationship. There's going to be a, a mixed bag that shows up of opportunities and challenge because of some karmic circumstances that are going to be tossed in your path. And today is a day where you're going to have to try a little harder, dig in a little deeper, be more persistent to reach a goal. And that means whether it's something very trivial or small or something complex and complicated, today simply requires more effort on your part. Now, maybe someone is seeking your advice or your assistance in order to gain an advantage. And because of that, you may find that you have to rearrange your agenda or reconsider your position or your priorities in order to accommodate this request. It's also a day where you really have to look at how you deal with other people. Maybe you're in charge of others and, you know, you're gathering the group to motivate them to rise to the next level. Maybe you want to push them to do a particular task or take on more responsibility or do their work in a better fashion or manner. Or maybe you're rallying the crowd to come to your side, whether it is this is political, uh, it's religious or some cause or an uprising, uh, whatever it is, getting your message across is important. You do best when it's non-threatening. You inspire, you encourage, you, ins you stimulate others so that they're motivated to uh, follow your encouragement without feeling like you're pushing, you're prodding, you're criticizing, you're judging, you're being condescending. So how you deliver that message depends, uh, you know, has a strong impact on the outcome, what you receive as a result of what you're putting out there. You may feel, though, that you're trying to please uh, everybody and you just can't. And then you end up feeling like a victim. But it's more likely that the cause, the root of that unhappiness, is really not out there. You've made a decision about what you believe in, and you're holding fast. It's a belief or a principle or some self-righteousness, or you're on your soapbox, or, you know, this noble belief system. And that rigidity is what's being what's the cause of you feeling out of sorts with others so you have to really think about why and where you may be taking your frustration out maybe you're doing it you're lashing out at others without even realizing it you're losing control this is a day that requires mastery 
over your choices. And so you may need to reconsider your position. So it's a day of, uh, again, courage, uh, you know, beating the odds, being strategic, uh, feeling as if maybe people are coming at you or pushing back and rising above all of the fray or becoming a martyr to something and allowing someone to uh, navigate into your position, take the advantage before you even realize it. 